This is the first time that you see my video starting with the, the object, not my face. So I bought it second hand for a podcast that I wanted to participate in. It's um, Confession L. Hi guys, so I hope that my voice is better now with my new microphone. Please tell me in the comments if you can notice any difference in my voice and the quality of it. I hope that I didn't buy it just for nothing. But today's story is about my experience in work uh, in an Arabic uh, restaurant and it was the worst just the worst. It was not my first job and it was not my last, fortunately enough. Before I was working as a babysitter for international families who were working for uh, an organization, but it was not enough because it was just a part-time job, like working two hours, three times a week, sometimes four. So it was not stable and it was just paying me my food and my transportation. It was fine. The families, they were very respectful and very nice with me and I really liked it. But as I was trying to find another way like to pay my rent, I was looking everywhere, even for McDonald's, where I was accepted but refused afterwards before signing the contract because of my visa. It was about to expire in one month and my residency card was not yet um, ready. So a friend of mine told me that there is an Arabic restaurant that he knows personally the owner and they are looking for a waitress who speaks Arabic and English. And the salary was 8 zloty per hour without a contract and being paid each month. So this was the first red flag. And then he told me that I will not be only a waitress, I will make shisha, I will make the alcohol, I will clean the floor, I will clean the dishes and all this in a three floor restaurant. It was tough work, really, especially the weekend nights. Oh my God, people, they are coming a lot and throwing parties in the third floor. So you can imagine how it was. Before I started working, I asked the girl who was waitress before me. She worked with me one day only, like it was her last day, just to show me how to make the shisha, how to make some um, alcohol drinks. And she told me that she got paid, but the payment is very low comparing to the work that you're gonna do. And she gave me some advice that I really thank her for that. And she told me that they promised her to increase her salary when she would learn the menu. And the menu is just that you would know what is inside each of the dishes because the, the dishes are Arabic and Indian and some people, they don't know what's, what is inside that dish. So you need to tell them what that dish is made from and if it is uh, vegetarian or uh, spicy and etc. And she learned it and they didn't increase her salary. And this was third red flag. I was working from eight, I, p.m. until 4 a.m. and I would go back home exhausted and dead. And as I was working, I was talking with the other waiter who was from Pakistan and I asked him about his salary. I was a bit curious to know if I am paid less than him and he told me that he was not paid since three months. And this is the fourth red flag. I was like, really? Like, how can a person work without being paid for three months. That was weird. I tried to confirm with another one who was the cook. There were two from um, India and they both told me that they were not paid for almost a year. As I saw all this and I was just physically and mentally very, very tired after those long hours of work, I decided to stop. I called the manager and I told him that I'm not coming and I will stop and he just said, okay and hang up the phone he didn't even ask why or yeah for sure i don't matter all this was in december i had a new year party there with my friends and i went there it was fine even the boss was in that party uh, a little bit and he just said hi to me he was he asked me if i am all right i said okay so he's not upset so cool he will pay me and I was sending him message after this new year. He was not answering. I was calling him and he was not answering. I was calling the manager and he was not answering. So I decided to go to the restaurant and ask them for my money, which was little. <laughs> it's fine. I will ask for it to pay the rent. And I find it closed. 
I asked my friends and they told me that he left to Saudi Arabia and closed his business because he is broke. So what can I do? I was chatting in the WhatsApp group with the others uh, how to find a solution. They even give, gave me his address, but he was not there. He was in Saudi Arabia and I was calling his cousin constantly and he was nice with me, but yeah, what can he do? He told me like, I can do nothing for you. I can just talk to him. He even told me that he talked to him and he said, I promise that I'm gonna pay you once I will come back to Poland. And he came back to Poland and he never paid me. I cannot go to the police to complain because I don't have any proof that I was working there. And then like the, the manager answered my uh, messages on WhatsApp and he just told me, welcome to the club. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club! <laughs> Are you serious? Thank you for this experience. At least I knew that I shouldn't trust you and trust people who are given a, a job without contract and paying at the end of the month. Not paying at the end of the month, of course. Thank you for one meal per day that I got uh, from the restaurant, which was good. Uh, it is thanks to the Indian uh, cook. And what I learned as well from this is how to make shisha. So if whenever you have a party and you have shisha, just invite me. <laughs> well, now I am working a full-time job in a kindergarten just nearby home, and I am very happy with it. And I am paid every month and with a contract. Well, I hope this would not happen to you. We are almost at 200 subscribers. I will make a giveaway. <laughs> no. Uh, anyway, I just thank you very much for all the support that you are giving me, for the likes, for the comments, for maybe sharing. I don't know if someone is sharing, I cannot see it. I think this channel is growing a bit, not very fast, but slowly, slowly, but surely. Uh, I will try to finish this um, Poland series, like how to get to Poland, how to do this in Poland, etc. as soon as possible, because I I am having some ideas in my mind of the content that I want to share with you. I want to share more about my uh, travel experience, especially with hitchhiking and some topics that I really care about and share them with you. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mom.